this video is about pest control especially the japanese beetles the japanese beetles are those little like round beetles that have a shiny back it's like in a copper brown back so that's what they look like and they eat the leaves of so many plants japanese beetles destroy a lot of plants and they like eating the leaves now they're munching on the leaves of my strawberry plants they are on my grape plants apples zinnia script myrtle and all kinds of the broad leaf plants they like eating them and like they're on top of each other so i'm thinking maybe they are reproducing that's why there are so many of them in here right now so i'm going to do something in order to at least control the number of japanese beetles i think some people call this june bugs but i mean it's almost july they're still here so i think they're gonna stay for long not only in june so we need to get rid of these guys my favorite thing to do is to create a soap solution I use any dish soap that is available in my kitchen so right now I have palm olive dish soap so I have created this dish soap solution and then I usually pick them up I wear gloves and then pick them up and drop them in the water but right now there are so many of them and like if I touch the leaf some of them will fly away so I'm just probably gonna pour this on the leaves and see what will happen You can also use a sprayer, but I feel a little lazy. Oh yeah, they've started flying away, guys. Look at that. But I got I got a lot of them there. You see that? They're still on there. I'm gonna go make some more soap solution, and hopefully, um, I'll be able to pick up most of them and drop them in the soap solution. Now that they are wet from the soap solution that I poured onto them it's usually a little bit easier to pick them up by hand I'm just I'm wearing my gloves look at this one guy here I'm gonna drop that in the soap solution so that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna show you how much I got from this plant alone let's get this one here yeah usually when they're wet it's harder for them to fly away so um that's why i like pouring soap solution on them first because like you can also if they are on a on a taller plant you can put the bucket or the soap solution underneath the plant and then you hit that plant with a stick and then they fall into the water that's one way to do it Okay, I'm just gonna I need to hurry up and get some of them now this one here if you can see that it's already dead that one got a lot of the soap so actually yeah some of them have died already see but some of them are trying to survive and they're just crawling away from the soap that I poured onto the leaves of the strawberry plants look at that see there's so many of them well this i think all of these are dead when I mean, they're not moving anymore but i'm just gonna go ahead and get them <laughs> you can see them in here they're underneath all of these bubbles but let's see here some of them are moving a little but many of them are already dead that now that one is still moving let's pick it up these are the Japanese beetles that I have picked from my strawberries got some from the apple trees from the zinnias from the grapes yeah, there are so many of them under these bubbles also well, guys, that's going to be all for today. Thank you for watching and happy gardening.